Rendering lists is an essential aspect of mobile application development. Whether it's a list of contacts, products, or any other collection of items, lists are a fundamental UI component. In this seventh section of the course, we will explore how to render lists in React Native. For this section on lists, I have created a new Expo project called RNList. You can create a similar project using the command npx create expo app followed by the project name, which is rnlist. We're going to start this section by creating a mock dataset that represents a list of Pokemon. Each Pokemon will have properties like ID, type, and name. So within the project folder, I'm going to define a file called data.json. Here, I'm going to copy paste a list of 100 Pokemon. Our goal is to render this list of Pokemon in the app component. Let's begin by importing the list. Import Pokemon list from dot slash data dot JSON. Now that we have the data, the question is, how do we render a list in React Native? If you are familiar with React, you will know that the map method is a common way to render lists. In React Native, you can use the same approach. So within the view container, curly braces, Pokemon list dot map, and for each Pokemon, we're going to return a view component that renders the Pokemon type and Pokemon name. On the view component, we will also specify key is equal to Pokemon.id. This key prop is essential for React to efficiently update the list. It helps React identify which items have changed, are added, or are removed, and should be a unique value for each item. If we now save the file and take a look at our devices, we can see the list of Pokemon being rendered. The problem is that we cannot scroll to the bottom. Let's add a scroll view to fix this issue. Import scroll view from React Native. And within the view container, add scroll view. If we take a look at the UI, our list is now scrollable, but it still doesn't look great. Let's make some styling improvements. Step one, import safe area view and replace the outer view container with safe area view. This will add some top padding on iOS devices. Android though still isn't great, so import status bar from React Native instead of Expo, and on the container, set padding top to status bar dot current height. Safe area view on iOS will not be affected by this. Take a look at the UI, and we now have enough space at the top of our view. Let's also change the background color to F5, 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 and remove align items and justify content. Our list is not centered anymore, but that is okay. Step two, create a scroll view key in the styles object and set a horizontal padding. Apply this to the scroll view component. If we save the file, we should now have spacing on either side of our list. Step three, create a card style for each list item. Card, we're going to set a white background color. Padding, for spacing within the card, a border radius of eight, border width of one, and finally, margin bottom, for separation between the cards. 
Apply this on the list item view component. We should now have a card for each Pokemon. Step four, create a text style for the text content inside the card. So card text, we're going to have a large font size. This will make the text easier to read. Apply it on both the text components, styles.cardText. If we take a look at the UI, we can see the list of cards being displayed. While our current code works perfectly fine, let me tell you, rendering lists using the scroll view component and the map method is not the preferred technique. In the next video, we will explore why this is the case and learn about the recommended approach. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.